Remember, it's best of one, so this is gonna be crazy fast. Wait, we starting? Yes, nine minutes till dodgeball, but me and Suhei are hopping into the lobby right now, and we're gonna get ready to invite our first four players into the dodgeball tournament. All right, so our first four players, Shave Throne, Zai, Mega, and Board. And here we go. The first game of the 2v2 dodgeball tournament is starting right now. Good luck, have fun. All it takes is one, or honestly two grenades, and you could be out of this entire tournament. Shaved and Zaya are going to survive the starting onslaught of grenades. Board is looking very low. Zai and Shaved, both honestly looking pretty he healthy compared to Board and Mega. Two grenades alternating on each side. Zai goes down. Wait, I just realized, is it? Are we not in solos? Anyways, Zai goes down and Shaved thrown. Clutches up in the 1v2. There we go. Shaved Throne is going to be moving on with Zai in the tournament. And Board and Mega are going to be taking a step out. Yeah, luckily it didn't change anything. All right, Shaved Throne and Zai are going to be facing Suhei and Lily very, very soon. But first, we have Adrian and Marshall and Mkel and Evie up now. All right, we are going to forfeit. Thank you for that follow, Peanut. We are going to forfeit Adrian and Marshall. They did not show Some up in time. Some guy just become six feet. And we are going to move on. Suhei and Lily versus Shade Throne and Zai. This probably means I'm going to take over, don't I? Go. All right, as long as Lily doesn't die to the first grenade, we will probably be good. There's more grenades on the inside, so I'm going to wait until those grenades are played before we before we do anything. All right, here we go. Two perfectly preset nades on both sides. Two and two at all times. Every 30 seconds, we are going to increase it. Shade Throne playing very, very cool, calm, and collected right now. Not doing a lot of movements. Kind of just relaxing, staying chill, staying in a certain amount of space. Lily taking a lot of damage there, but Zai is taking a lot of damage as well. Suhei is actually looking at 1 HP. It has been 30 seconds. We're going to increase the nade count. Shave Throne is going to have to big pull a huge clutch here. Ooh, great grenade idea there from Shave Throne. Shave is going to be getting his three grenades first, but the, lot, the grenades have already come down. Oh my gosh. It was such a good grenade placement from Shaved on the Suhei to take them out. But then Lily was able to clutch and land that nade on the bottom left on Shaved. All right, we need Colonel Amazing and Ico and Extensive Axolotl and Stellar Note 5. Game's about to start when the hunting rifle shoots off. Go for it. Let's go. Game number four, technically. It looks like Colonel is controlling all of the grenades. I don't know if Stellar got a single grenade. It doesn't look like it, and Melvin is gonna go down super quickly. Colonel did an absolutely fantastic job of um, taking care of all of the different locations that they could be hiding. Shots being taken, extensive axolotl is going to have to absolutely clutch out. Thank you, Azzy. If they would like to continue their tournament run, extensive is already at a Colonel <laughs> quarter HP. Because that's what this map is. How have you never played this map, Melvin? This is one of the staple maps right here. Alright, big nades being thrown from both sides. Ico currently holding on to a nade, trying to figure out the best place to for it! And just like that, Ico and Colonel are going to be moving on. Yeah, it wasn't one of our tournament maps. And... Uh, Extensive Axolotl and Melvin will be stopped in their tracks. Just as fast as that, gamers. All right, we need Clumsy and Default Otter versus One Chip and Big Shot. Never mind, Lily, or never mind. Don't don't post that next code yet. Don't post that next code yet. We I just messaged One Chip did not show up. I gave Big Shot the option to complete a one v two and they declined. So Clumsy and Default are going to move on, and we have Rookie and Draven versus Biscuit and King Izumi. And you can go ahead and actually give them the code. Ooh, slow off the line for Izumi and Biscuit, almost like they weren't ready. 
Uzumi already losing their teammate, but they are going to get grenades first. Uzumi is going to need to play some really good gameplay right here. He needs to take out one as fast as possible. I definitely need to survive. Oh, look, look at them. Look at the teamwork. Look at the teamwork. Left and right, Uzumi keeping themselves cool, calm, and collected, and they'll be able to collect their next grenades. One far, one close. Not even a speckle of damage. Let's we'll see what they decide to do this time. Pulling out the grenades. <laughs> this is so intimidating. This is so intimidating, man. Two Ravens. Oh, and King Azumi is going to go down and leave just Rookie and Draven to kiss with some melees. And <laughs> Rookie tried to take out the hunting rifle. What a weirdo. Jinsoku and Vino against Sweat Mop and Azzy Blue. Guys, I get it. I'm bald. There you go. There's two starting lines. All right, the hunting rifle shot goes does go out. The left side got most of the nades. Sweat Mop is going to be the only player remaining from the right side. Um, as he was the only player, or as he immediately almost immediately went out. Big damage on Jinsoku though. Shots being thrown. Sweat Mop healing up to full, using as he's juice. Good dodges, Jinsoku and Vino are looking very cold, calm, and calculated right now. Jinsoku, Vino holding nades. Ooh, dang. Good shot so far. Sweat Mop gets their grenades first because they are a player down. Sweat mop. We aren't going to be able to drop more nades until Sweat uses their grenades. Alright, Vino's going to throw out their grenade. Half damage. No, you can't sign. I just, I just have to time it out. I have to time it out. I'm so sorry. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. Sweat mop needs the clutch, clutch up for Azzy. Let's see what happens. Both, this is way too slow paced. Bring it up to three. It's been 30 seconds anyways. Three nades for each side. Sweat Mob doing an excellent job of just kind of remaining chill, not panicking. Yeah, we're gonna have to discuss. We're gonna have to discuss with uh, Suhei what they think after this. If it matters, we're gonna find out if it matters. Big Nage and Soku currently sitting at true 1 HP as Sweat Mop expertly bounces. <laughs> one player goes down, Sweat Mop takes out Vinu. Jin Soku is now sitting at true 1 HP. Actually, both players are sitting at 1 HP. Who is going to be the first player to do the damage? Jin Soku doing an expert job. Now, Sweat Mop is. Ooh, was that out of bounds? I couldn't tell. Was that out of bounds? I would play it out. We'll clip it. We'll rewatch it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Play it out. Okay, you guys just want to wait? Sure, you can wait. We'll look at it right now. Big one. You guys are still fighting? You dorks. Ooh, was. Bob. Oh, yeah. Completely out. Completely out. Okay, but here's what we need to talk about. Azzy would like to say that they could not pick up a grenade because they had a random zip line that was in the field of play in their inventory. So would we like to replay the round because of that fact? That is why he thought he had a grenade and he threw it and it was a zip line in this corner. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Suhei, do you feel like that's replayable? Or do you think that that did not affect? Yeah, there is a zip and that's why when Azzy rushed the center line, they didn't pick up any of the grenades. They picked up the, the zip and then they threw the, threw the zip in the top right. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. All right, hunting rifle shot. <laughs> grenades being thrown. So Azzy actually lived this time, let's go. All right, Azzy, barely any HP. Right side did get their grenades first, but just barely. And Azzy actually dies in the same exact location that they died last game. 
What kind of insane luck is that? <sighs> oh my gosh. All right, threat mop, half HP. Yeah, you don't miss, don't listen. Me, we're allowed to banter with Shave Throne about some of his like favorite lines and stuff because he banters with me. Well, that is way too far. Is saying Shave likes 14 year old girls? You guys need to chill on that. Chill on that. That's a 24 hour on site. That is literally a 24 hour on site, which means you guys can no longer participate in the giveaways for the rest of the day too. Good riddance. It's okay to banter. That is not banter, bro. That is straight up, that is straight up allegations. And that's why we had four 24 hour bans there. Nine nine kids. Do better. Alright, Jinsoku does go down. Sweat Mop versus Vino, both choosing to heal off the bat. Vino now full HP. Yep, gonna cancel Sweat Mops. Please tell and me you're not Q. What? <clears throat> Brother, I have five hours left of this stream. Huh? I have five hours left of this stream. Yeah, and? In queue for what? In queue for my third tournament? You're playing tournaments? Yes, it's tw one year SAR anniversary, 12 hours, four three hour SAR events. You're the one oh, that made weird. the graphics Yours for this. One e you're just says, <laughs> your thing says one year SAR, and I saw Jacob says, playing league and so i thought you were like switching for a second no no he didn't just wake up he just got home from doing stuff with his uh fiance all day so i don't it's not that bad uh, it's actually cool. to the day one year anniversary of him dating his fiance <laughs> so we share <laughs> an anniversary oh i'm deafening i didn't even realize he got home he terrified me <clears throat> yeah you know the first day i played star was the first day he started dating this girl all right, Vino and Jinsoku, it was meant to happen. They will move on and they will see Manuel and just have fun later. Right now, we need Crypt and Nexoria and Yazvikis and Kibero. I talked about you in the video. Go! In Crypt with a bit of a fast start, but there's only one grenade on that side and Yazvikis immediate. Yasvikis dies to the first grenade thrown, and his teammate instantly steps over the center line and loses. <laughs> we now need Mkel. We need <laughs> we need Mkel and Evie versus a shameful and sage. It is finally time. Uh, anyways, the final game of round number two. Good luck, have fun. Here we go. Ash and Sage versus Eevee and Mkill. The hunting rifle has been shot. Mkill and Eevee were good off of the left side of the line. All of the nades going to them, they are going to survive the first barrage and they will get priority on nades for the first round. Sage, Ash. Ash is looking like they have very, very low HP right now. They are going to need to clutch up. Something must be wrong on Suhei's end. We'll give them a second to figure it out. Oh, Eevee was holding nades, you little cheater. Ash does survive that those nades as well. Wow, that was a very sneaky little nade toss right there on the floor, and no players have gone down yet. Sage was just slash killed, so I must have missed something. Double question marks from the left side. Maybe we'll get an ex explanation. We had a full crossing of the middle, says Suhei, the referee. We will be checking the VOD, says Suhei. But we are going to kill now and ask questions later. Ash has a big opportunity here to potentially come all the way back and win this. He was safe there. He was definitely safe there. All right, nades coming through. Ash needs to get a full kill with one of these nades for sure. Ooh, a close nade almost doing a good enough job to take out Ash. Not so far yet. Eevee did take some damage and had to use some health use. Very good. Still no damage, dude. Mkel and Eevee are being extremely chill right now they're sort of just hanging out funky trying to relax as much as possible let's see what sort of strategy they want to go for here no i don't feel like there was really good coordination there they both went to the top it has been 30 seconds so we are now going to three grenades so let's see what happens mkel half hp choosing to juice in the top left our left side are holding all of the nades so let's see if they can make something happen with it Two 
two nades to the left, and Ash does go down, and Eevee and Mkel are going to move on. Great game. And we are going to move on to the next game. Gotta be careful about where you guys are dodging. Stay away from the out of bounds for sure. Stay in a wide open area so you have plenty of space to move around. All right, round number three. Not that many games left. We have Suhei and Lily versus Kern. Versus, what is it? Amazing Wumbo? Amazing Wumpo? Wumpa? All right, good luck. Have fun. Three, two, one, fire. Self kill and let us get this on. Suhei instantly goes down, which means Lily has a tall order here to be able to clutch. I accidentally spawned three at a time this time. We'll be going back down to two as long as uh, Lily survives. Let's see if Lily will survive, though. They are holding nades. They went for middle, middle, and it worked out just fine. Amazing Wumps and Aiko are going to take the game and continue on. All right, nades have been picked up. Four nades on the right side. Did Default Otter nade his own teammate? Is that what I saw? That looked weird. Anyways, Cupcake already starting with a little heal. Nades to the right side first, which means we will see the two nades on the left side next. Throwing both their nades safe in the bottom right. Rookie and Draven holding their nades out, both as Ravens. It looks kind of funny. Wow, good damage because of that play. Good idea. Throwing a nade in the center of the room, trying to catch one of them off guard. Not going to work for now. Moving backwards, Rookie does take some damage. Right side got their nades first. Rookie trying to, or Draven rather, trying to pick up that nade and dodge. Almost goes across the center line, but does survive. Wow, Default Otter and Clumsy both sitting at 1 HP, but anything can happen in do or Grenade Dodgeball. There's one player down right there. Draven takes out Clumsy, and let's see if Default Otter can clutch up here for their teammate, or if this is going to be the end of Default Otter and Clumsy in this tournament. Shots going out, nothing landing immediately. Nade in the middle. Draven takes a good amount of damage. Rookie almost steps over the center line and loses, but they did not step completely over, so they will be fine for now. Default Otter is kind of notorious for having some pretty solid movement, so we're going to have to see what it takes to actually get them out of the game. One HP left for Default Otter, but they did just collect their three grenades first. Oh my gosh, this could be the end. Wow, I thought both players might might have just been losing just right there in that moment both players throwing it in the stables honestly this is anyone's game right now as default otter is getting their three grenades first every round but no draven taking out both players good luck have fun hunting rifle goes off and we are starting our russian players seem to get all of the grenades on the bottom side so far but they did take a lot of damage themselves Jinsoku and Vino full HP. Yep, they're going to need to check inside the room. They do grab the rest of the nades. Vino has probably four grenades stacked in their inventory right now. This could be absolutely huge. Vino staying inside the room, playing very sneaky right now. We need to see if they know about throwing it through the shed. Let's see if they make the choice. No, they're going to throw it close as the person approaches the door. We're going to need to wait for Vino to... Oh, and the Russian player does go down. Vin Hester... Wait, did he actually cross? I didn't even see. I was so focused on Vino, what Vuno was going to do. GG's. GG's. All right. Vino and Jinsoku moving on to the semifinals. For the last round in round number three, we have Nexoria and Encrypt versus MKL and Eevee. Wow, what a matchup. Another insane matchup here. Here we go. All right, gamers, let us get to it. Suhei is about to pop it up to see who gets in the semifinals. Let's do it. Eevee and MK. Oh no. Eevee just immediately ran over the center line. Wait, hold on, hold on. We should probably allow those grenades to be picked up, right? What just happened? Wait, what just happened? And then 
Evie, hold on, hold on. Pause to hey. No, we're not redoing. They just ran across the center line blatantly. What? What's the redo? I'm just saying these nades should be picked up in the bottom right. No, we're not redoing just because your friend lost. Yeah, hold on. We need to make sense of what happened here. Let me see if I can get the clip. Hold on, Suhei. Countless worlds collide in good song. All right, gamers. Let us I don't know why that is what you're contesting, Draven, because they still got all of the grenades. Look, Mkel and Evie got all of the nades. That is what I'm talking about. What the hell is Evie doing? What the hell is Evie doing right here? What did I witness? I, that, I don't care about the placement of the grenades. What? Does Evie have an explanation? Like, or are we just like accepting that and moving on? I say we just continue. That's obviously a penalty. And Evie picked up all of the grenades on the top side and then died with them outside of the map. So it's not like... That's just a part of a punishment that comes with getting a penalty. All right, here we go. Nade starting on the right side first because Mkel is a player down. And if Mkel and Eevee lose this game, this will be one of the weirdest dodgeball finishes I have ever seen. Because I still have no clue what I just freaking watched. But let's see. Mkel trying to kind of get in their head. Not working so far. Three grenades for each side. 30 seconds. Good damage so far. Encrypt looking very low right now. Next is somehow just being just outside of the damage there. Mkel getting the three nades first. Remember it is... The same spawn locations every single time for every grenade. So these players can sort of predict when the player is running and try to take them out. Encrypt goes down 1v1. Mkel needs to clutch up here. Mkel does take some damage. But they're at about exactly even damage. Mkel deciding where he wants to throw the nades. Nexoria just playing very close up and then dodging front to back. Pretty simple start for Nexoria. Nexoria now has a lot of room to play with. Nexoria seems to be doing the same dodging pattern pattern every single time. We'll have to see if Mkel is picking up on that or if they're just going to continue. Wow, very good nade. Almost caused death there. But Mkel is now going to die from one... No, Sundays are my days off of streaming. Probably no stream tomorrow. Sometimes there'll be a very rare Sunday stream, but probably not tomorrow. This was a long one. Mkel, three nades in hand, needs to make something happen here. No damage done. Nades. Both players have nades, chucking them at the same time. We usually see this is when people start to panic the most, is when they're both focusing on their throw locations and uh, trying to watch where the enemy is throwing their nades as well. Mkel probably needs to take care of that, and Nexoria does take the victory in one of the strangest dodgeball games I have ever seen. I, I still don't even know how to like talk about what happened. We've seen people like lag, drag walk across the center line, but they were like nine feet over the center line while holding the nades, while holding their health, like what? All right, and Mkel and Eevee, after a strange occurrence there, are going to be out, which means we have our top four. Our top four is Amazing, Aiko, Ruki, Draven, Jinsoku, Vino, M... Wait, look, I was so... I really thought they were going to win, so I just put their name in, even though they lost. And Encrypt and Nexoria. First up, we have Amazing and Aiko and Ruki and Draven to see who gets into the top two. Let's do it. 
here we go. Nades front, left, and center. Ico taking half HP. Rookie taking half HP. Live and die by the blade and Wumps, both 100% HP so far. So we are at an exact match in HP right now on both sides. Both holding nades. Interesting idea. They went back right, close left, but then the enemy players went close left, back right. So nothing really happens there. Draven topping off with a little bit of juice that they have. Wumps picking up some health juice. Great nade placement, and Wumps is going to go down. Aiko needs to clutch up this 1v2 scenario. I mean, you say that, but the nades were exactly even last game. The nades were exactly even this game. So obviously something is flawed in your um, logic here. Ruki, Draven, both holding a nade, scaring Aiko. Ico three grenades to play with here. Definitely enough to take out two players. We've seen one grenade take out six players before. So three grenades should do the trick. Draven and Aruki both trying to make some sort of plan together and it worked. Ico is now sitting at a true one HP right now. Ico honestly needs to go on the offensive right now and try to make something happen. Great grenade placement. Ruki dies and Draven is now one HP. Oh my gosh. Aiko took damage but didn't die. That is absolutely insane, but there we go. Aiko almost clutches that out 1v2. Draven was such low HP, but the left side was able to take it this time around. And Ruki and Draven are moving on. And Aiko and um, Amazing Wumps will play for third place to be in the money in just one second. It's not a part of the bracket because it's single elimination. But we are now going to do Jinsoku and Vino versus Encrypt and Nexoria. And then we're going to do a third place game to see who gets our bronze medals. So stick around, Waffle. You guys need to play in the third place match in just a second. Jinsoku and Vino collect most of the nades. Let's see if they can get a critical early kill here. No, Encrypt is actually going to survive with one HP. Nexoria is going to have three fourths HP. And we will see if they can return fire with some grenades here. Vino is going to take just a slab of damage there on the left side. Jinsoku and Vino. Vino. Hey, oh, oh my gosh. Sorry, that nade literally just made me like, yikes. Nexoria is somehow escaping that with only half HP damage there from that grenade. They both need to run up knights. They're doing an expert job right now of playing. Encrypt and Nexoria are both looking very low HP. Pretty sneaky nade there. Not going to land just yet. Nades are being traded. Jinsoku is just doing an expert job right now of dodging this nade. The right side is has so much less HP right now. We're going to have to figure out if they can bring the damage back here. Oh, Vino is hiding a nade. We are waiting for it to be thrown before we can set out the new grenades. All right. It is not landed. Right side is getting their two grenades first. I think we're about to be getting close to... Uh, spawning more grenades. Wow, the off-screen grenade doing an insane amount of damage. And just like that, Encrypt and Nexoria are back into this game. Vino looking so low. Jinsoku half HP. About even on the HP right now. Three grenades coming for each side. Encrypt and Nexoria need to survive these three grenades at once. And they do so. Three grenades for both sides. Good throw. Encrypt goes down. Vino goes down. This is a 1v1 situation. They actually... What? What just happened? Jintoku, 1 HP. Jintoku dies. And Nexoria is able to clutch up and win the game. Vino and Jintoku stick around. You guys need to play for a third place bronze medal right now. All right. Great game. GG's in the chat. Encrypt and Nexoria are going to the Grand Finals versus Draven and Ruki. And now we're going to do an amazing Wumps and Aiko versus Jinsoku and Vino for third place. Grenades being grabbed. A few grenades for each player, as it seems. Grenade not making it over the wall. That grenade does half HP for Jinsoku. 
Another nade being thrown. Jinsoku will go down. Vino is going to have a chance to clutch for a third place finish for the pair. Let's see if they're able to do it. All right, Vino is holding some nades, but so is Wumps and Aiko. They're currently trying to line up their nades on top and bottom. That's a pretty solid idea. Two grenades per side for now before we move on. Ooh, Wumps taking some big damage there. That is exactly the type of damage that, I, that Vino needs to do if they want to clutch up this third place. All right, two more nades for each side. Wumps and Aiko currently sitting far back and holding them. Bounces one off the closed shed wall. It's definitely not what we're going to want to see. Aiko goes in the building, tries to do a tricky little nade toss out the doorway, and it's not going to work. And Wumps lands it on Vino. And uh, they, uh, and Jinsoku and Vino are going to end in a respectable fourth place out of 20 teams. But Aiko and Wumps are going to get our third place finish, a bronze medal for each one of them, as well as $10 to split amongst them. Good luck, have fun. And the last game of the tournament has just begun. Spam of grenades coming out. Rookie coming down to one HP, literally instantly somehow surviving though. And that is not a good start for the European players on the left. They're going to need to have a pretty much a pixel perfect performance here to be able to catch a dub here. You know what? That's a oh, Encrypt absolutely just crashed over the center line. Wait. Okay, it wasn't Encrypt that killed him. Hold on, Sue. Hey, don't drop. We're looking at it. Tournament has just begun. Spam of grenades coming out. Rookie coming down to one. And that is not a good start for the year. You need to have a pretty much a pixel perfect performance here to be able to catch it up right here. here. You know what? Absolutely. Full body crossing. I didn't even get it at the right pixel and you're still across. You know Look at that. All right. Encrypt is going to get slash killed, which means we are going to be a 1v1 scenario for the Grand Finals Championship right here. One versus one. Full HP versus full HP. Grenades already coming out from both sides. All right, Draven versus Nexoria to decide if this is going to be $60 or $30. Now, for some reason, Draven and Rookie did not destroy all of the boxes on their side, but we'll have to decide. Oh, well, actually, one of them just got destroyed by that grenade. All right, Draven kind of playing out of sight right now, and the sneak attack did work! Wow, Nexoria dodging that damage by just a little bit. Crazy that that just happened. Ooh, baiting out both of those grenades into the deep left pocket. Great strategy as well, as I think we will be moving to three grenades on either side very, very soon. Looks like this might be the last um, time going two grenades on each side. Now this should be three grenades and it is. Three grenades for each side, starting on the right side. Draven almost going down, somehow surviving. Draven will get the grenades first this next time around. He's going to be starting with the three nades. One, two, three, and Nexoria just starts to get their three just now. Top left, does he make a play off of it? No, half HP, Draven somehow surviving, goes back left, doesn't go down just yet. Nexoria is going to receive the grenades first and is instantly spam throwing them. If he throws it all the way in, he will lose. And Draven stepped out a little bit too quickly. I think if he would have waited in that top left corner, he would have been okay. But that is going to be it. Nexoria and Encrypt are going to be playing on... Or Nexoria and Encrypt are going to be taking the first place $60 prize and gold medals split among them. And we have silver medals for Draven and Rookie and $30, $15 a piece to split among them. And just like that, the dodgeball tournament is over. Thank you so much, everyone, for playing. And look, guys, I told you that was single elimination, best of one. And that took us two hours and 16 minutes. That was great, perfectly timed.